Hello students, the next topic under the unit Theory of Equations is Transformations of Equations. In our previous videos, we learnt about the reciprocal equations. Now we are going to see how we can transform an equation. Now here we have various types of transformations of equations. Let us see first type now. The first type is to multiply the roots of the given equation by k. So now if an equation is given to us, we have to transform the equation into another equation whose roots will be multiplied by k. In order to do that, we have to multiply the coefficient of the, uh, like for example here we have x power 4, x cube, x squared. So these are the terms of the equation. So the coefficients of these terms has to be multiplied by k and I um, mean k power 0, k power 1, k squared etc like that. And how we have to multiply this is from the highest power to the least we have to do. That is here the highest power is 4. Now this term has to be multiplied by k power 0. The next term is x cube that has to be multiplied uh, the coefficient of this term has to be multiplied by k power 1 and the next term's coefficient has to be multiplied by k squared and so on. So we have to do this. The value of k will be mentioned in the problem. So when we solve a problem you will understand it better. So now let us solve a problem on this topic. Here the question is transform the equation into one whose roots are multiplied by 10. So now the value of k for this problem is k is equal to 10. It's given here. So roots are multiplied by 10 of the given equation. So the equation is given here. They are saying, they are asking us to transform this equation into another equation whose roots are multiplied by 10. Now the value of k is 10 for this problem. So now let us see how to solve this problem. So first we will write the given equation that is x power 4, 3x cube plus 5x squared plus 2x negative 10 is equal to 0. Now the coefficient of x power 4 that is the highest power is 1. Now that 1 has to be multiplied with k power 0. What is k? k is 10. So 10 power 0. What is the coefficient of the next term? It is 3. This term has to be multiplied with 10 power 1. So k power 1, k is 10, so 10 power 1. What is the next uh, term? x squared. Its coefficient is 5 and this has to be multiplied by 10 square. And then the coefficient of the next term is 2 and that has to be multiplied by 10 cube. And at last we have the constant term which has to be multiplied by 10 power 4. So it is k power 0, k power 1, k squared, k cube, k power 4. This is how we have to do. So from this, what is 10 power 0 actually? It is any number raised to the power 0 is 1. We know that. So this coefficient has to be multiplied by 1. Now 10 power 1 is 10 only. So the coefficient 3 has to be multiplied by 10. And then 10 squared. So this term 5 has to be multiplied by 100. What is 10 cube? It is 1000. So 2 has to be multiplied with 1000. And then 10 power 4 is 10,000. So this 10 has to be multiplied with this 10,000. So how this equation transforms? This equation will be transformed as now I told you, you know 1 has to be multiplied with 1 so it is 1 only so we get x power 4 as such. Now 3 has to be multiplied with 10 so we get 30 so plus 30 x cube. Next 5 has to be multiplied with 100 so plus 500 x squared plus now 2 has to be multiplied with 1000 so it will be 2000 x negative now this 10 has to be multiplied with 10,000 and so when we multiply this we get the number 100,000 so it is 100,000 is equal to 0 so hence the transformed equation is we have to write hence the transformed equation 
is. So what is the transformed equation? x to the power 4 plus 30x cube plus 500x squared plus 2000x negative 100,000 equal to 0. So this is the answer. Hope you have understood this problem. We will do another one problem. Now here we have another question. Transform the equation this into one in which the roots are multiplied by 2. So first we will take the equation and we will write. What is the first term? x power 5. So first we will write x power 5. And next if you see it is x cube. So one of the term is missing in between. What is that? x to the power 4. And because the term is not available here, we can take its coefficient to be 0. But very importantly, we should not miss any powers of x. So in order to write that, we can write plus 0x to the power 4. The next term is plus 4x cube. After that, if you see, after x cube, we are having x squared here. So we can write that. So plus uh, 6x squared. But after x squared, directly we have the constant term here. In between, the x term is missing. So because of that, we have to write plus 0x and then negative 8 is equal to 0. Now in this equation, now here they are asking us to transform this equation in which the roots are multiplied by 2. Now what is the value of k here? The value of k is equal to 2 for this problem. So what I told you, the coefficient of x to the power 5 that is the first term has to be multiplied by k power 0. So this has to be multiplied by 2 power 0. This has to be multiplied by 2 power 1. This by 2 squared. This by 2, pa, 2, 2 to the power 3. And this term has to be multiplied by 2 to the power 4. And the constant term has to be multiplied by 2 to the power 5. And so what is 2 power 0? It is 1. So therefore this coefficient has to be multiplied by 1. 2 power, uh, so this term has to be multiplied by 2. 2 squared is 4. So 4 has to be multiplied by 4. Next 6 has to be multiplied by 8. And then this has to be multiplied by 16. And then the last term has to be multiplied by 32. So let us do that now. And so the transformed equation will be. Now this coefficient of x power 5 is 1. It has to be multiplied with 1. And so we get... Uh, 1 into 1 is 1 only. So we get x to the power of 5 plus now 2 has to be multiplied with 0 which is 0 only. So 0 x to the power of 4 and then 4 has to be multiplied with 4. So 4 4 times is 16. So 16 x cube. Next 6 has to be multiplied with 8 and so we get 48 x squared and then 0 has to be multiplied with 16. Anyway it will be 0 only. So 0x and then negative 8 has to be multiplied with 32. The product will be 256 and this negative sign will come here. So 256 is equal to 0. And now we can, uh, the terms with coefficient 0, we need not write. So removing, removing these two terms, finally we get the transformed equation to be x to the power 5 plus 16x cube plus 48x squared negative 256 is equal to 0. So this is the transformed equation. If you see now in this next problem, it is a similar problem, but here they are saying that the roots are multiplied by 3. So we have to transform this equation into another equation whose roots are multiplied by 3. Now first we will take and write this equation. What is that x cube? And next we have the x squared term, so 9x squared. And then we have the x term which is negative 2x, then plus 4 is equal to 0. Now the roots of this equation, uh, the, that is the new equation found, will have roots whose uh, which will be multiplied by 3. Now we will do that. So the coefficient of x cube is 1, which has to be multiplied with 3 to the power 0. Because the value of k is 3 here. So we have to multiply it by k power 0, so 3 to the power 0. This has to be multiplied with 3 to the power 1. This with 3 squared and the constant term has to be multiplied by 3 to the power 4. 
what is 3 power 0 it is 1 3 power 1 is 3 3 squared is 9 and now here uh, it is 3 power 3 actually I have written by 4 mistake please make the change it is 3 power 3 so it will be 27 so now finally the transformed equation will be 1 has to be multiplied with 1 so it will be x cube and 3, mul I mean 3 multiplied with 9 so it is 27 x squared and then negative 2 multiplied with 9 which is 18 x and then plus 27 multiplied by 4 will be 108 is equal to 0 hence this is the transformed equation so after this we have another problem here in which the roots of this equation is multiplied by 10 so what we have to do we have to multiply the coefficients by uh, 10 power 0, 10 power 1, 10 square, 10 cube, 10 power 4. So I have written that here and after multiplication this is the transformed equation that we have obtained. Finally we will be one more problem, we will be doing one more problem which is a quite different kind of transformation. Let us see that now. Now here in this problem they are asking us to transform this equation whose roots are equal but opposite in sign. That is the transformed equation will have the same roots as this equation. The only difference being the signs of those uh, roots will be different. That is opposite. So if, uh, if this has a positive root, the same uh, root will be a negative root for the transformed equation. If this has a negative root, then that same root will be uh, transformed uh, for the transformed equation it will be a positive root okay so now let us see how to do that now now for for such problems what we have to do is in this given equation we have to transform this x as negative x so wherever we have x at that place we have to change it as negative x so what will uh, this equation turn out to be now here we have x to the power 5 so it will become negative x to the power 5 plus 2 we have x to the power 4 so it will be negative x to the power 4 and then negative 6 now here we have x cube so it will be negative x power 3 plus x squared so negative x squared negative 10 multiplied with now here we have x so we have to replace it as negative x and this is a constant term which can be written as such so is equal to 0 now what is x my negative x to the power 5 it will be negative x to the power 5 plus 2 multiplied with what will be negative x to the power 4 this negative sign will become positive and so it will be just x to the power 4 and then negative 6 multiplied with negative x cube will be negative x x cube and then plus this negative x squared will be x squared and then negative 10 multiplied with negative x it will, it will remain the same plus 7 equal to 0 now we will multiply this with whatever is there inside the bracket so we will get x to the power 5 plus 2 x to the power 4 now here we have negative and here negative so it will become positive 6 x cube and then plus x squared and then what we have this negative sign and this negative sign will get multiplied and it will become positive 10x plus 7 is equal to 0. Now in order to have a positive term here we can multiply this complete equation by negative 1. And so this uh, negative uh, 1 multiplied with negative 1 will become positive 1. So x to the power 5 and here plus will become negative 2x to the power 4 because we are multiplying with negative 1. So here it will become negative 6x cube negative x squared negative 10x negative 7 is equal to 0. So I hope you have understood the problems which are under type 1 where we are transforming the equation by multiplying the roots with a particular value or by uh, changing like having the opposite sign like that. Now in our future videos we will be learning about how to diminish a root, how to increase a root, so such kind of concepts. So always remember to multiply the roots of a given equation by k. What we have to do? We have to multiply the coefficients of that equation by k power 0, k power 1 and k square. And in which order we have to multiply? From the highest power to the least we have to do this multiplication. So these concepts are quite important concepts and it will be helpful in our future problems also. Hope you have understood this concept. 
so next we will learn the topic diminishing of the roots by a particular value let us see that in our future videos thank you